Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of Fallout 4 Mods. Hope y'all had a great week, a great weekend. And uh, let's take a look at some mods, shall we? Get Medieval by Genghis Khan X. Starting us off is a lovely collection of melee weapons. Included are five medieval weapons of varying speed and size that can chop, cut, and smash those you disagree with. And you know, various fruits, meats, and vegetables. Weapons include a drick, a drick, mace, Polax, spear, and a sword. Get to chopping, everybody. Get to chopping. Wreak havoc. Random artillery strikes by Sorry, We're Full. If artillery strikes weren't random enough for you, this mod fixes that. Minutemen artillery gun range has been buffed, and they'll strike whenever they get a chance. This mod is meant to be used alongside massive spawning mods like War of the Commonwealth, and Endless Warfare, but you can use it with vanilla for some extra variety. There's also an artillery cannon weapon that shoots out the same firepower as the Minutemen artillery if you don't want to wait for the cavalry. Flamer Improvements by Genghis Khan X This adds a few changes to the flamers in the game, such as increased overall damage by about two-thirds, double the range, sticky flamer effect for all modifications, and projectiles, plus switching the flamers to do fire damage instead of energy damage, which they're set as for default for some reason. I never really used the flamer just because it wasn't really my thing, but this mod may make me look at those sweet burning flames another way. The Loner Gear Pack by NCR Ranger 5X. A nice collection of protective gear, this pack has an outfit available in three colors, along with three masks as well. These definitely have a loner slash raider type feel to them, and will fit right into your game. Just look at those helmets, look at that armor, and look at that dangerous baby. Cross, Mojave Manhunter by Nero. Bringing some Mojave to the Mojave wealth, this Nero mod adds some western style to us all. Unless, well, only if you're wearing the armor, it doesn't change everything. The armor is separated into multiple parts, such as under armor, duster, vest, gloves, mask, and hat. As always, there are a plethora of unique skins you can choose from to change your look and show who you're loyal to. As always with Nero Mods, you will have to go to his website to download the full textures, so make sure you stop on by there, enter your address, a little donation, and you can get your textures but you don't actually have to donate if you don't want to. Sweet Roll 5000, Extreme Sweet Roll by Fading Signal. Hey, does anyone know where the rest of my napkins are? My ears won't stop bleeding. Oh shoot, my Sweet Roll. I see your Sweet Roll has fallen. W what I have come from the future, a land more dark than your dreams. My mission, to bring Sweet Rolls to those who have lost them. Watch as I turn your turd roll into a beautifully manicured, pristine pastry once more. Behold, a true sweet roll. Whoa. Your sweet roll is ready. Uh, I think I did too many drugs today. Sweet roll 5000. It's where the sweet gets sweeter. We admire we. Tide Pods by Cherokee Master. The fad may have passed where you're from, but in the Commonwealth, they can't get enough of these tasty, tiny mouth ticklers. Just ask those around the Commonwealth what they think of these babies. Tide Pods. Eat them, then you die, you dumb mother truckers. No, really, they take health away when you eat them. I ate a whole bunch of them on the stream. In the game, not in real life. Alright, everyone, that's going to do it for this week's Fallout 4 Mods. I hope you enjoyed we had some interesting ones, some unique mods this week. Pretty cool, pretty fun. So yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. As always, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments, and I'll check them out. It's going to be a wonderful time. Oh, yeah. Have a great week, and I'll see you in the future. Away!